What's up everyone, I'm back again, and today we're going to talk about a dividend stock that is a recommended buy by Monthly Fools, and before I get into that, hey, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not your financial advisor, and before you buy the stock, do your own research, I'm going to go over this stock and what I think about it and my personal opinion. Now, this stock, Devon Energy, is another energy company that they do give a pretty good dividend yield. Now, their operation is in North Dakota, it looks like, Oklahoma, and they produce oil. And their sustainable energy program. So they're just a energy sector company. Uh, they're not a innovation or anything else like that they're just pretty much a oil and gas operation company now looking at the one day market it is worth $39.45 right now and do I think let's see the one month it's been dropping for one month year to date is down 12.91% one year is down 20.59 percent three years is up 32.43 um, and the five years it is up 57 percent as projected or well max is not as all-time high all-time high was in looks like in 2020 or 27 2007 and the analysts believe that this is going to hit $55.51 in one year. Now, that's a pretty good gain for a stock. But before I assume that the analyst is going to be right, I need to look, look at the finances. The finances, they do have a decent net profit range. It looked like the past few years it has been stable around twenty four seventy nine, so I'm not worried about it paying this dividend yield. Now, the operation income, the growth has been dropping, the cost of goods sold has been dropping, so with all of the negative of its finance dropping, they still was able to hold a pretty good sizable. Um, income so i'm not worried about this company shutting down i'm not worried about this company um best way to put it i'm not worried about it's not paying its dividend with that uh earning now the revenue for in tw june 2024 was 6.24 per share value it it's not bad but the issue I have is it gonna get out of its rut because it looks like it it always hit majority of the time it hits um its price to earning last year and with the increase. Let's check the investors real quick. Well now this is interesting. BlackRock increase is shared. Vanguard increased its share. Uh, if BlackRock is increasing their share, that's a pretty good sign that this stock is come go starting to go back on its up. Now, remember, if we're looking for a short short term stock, I don't believe you should invest in this stock for short term. I believe if you're gonna invest in this stock, you're gonna have to invest in for five years, ten years. Um, let's look at insider trading. Now they granted all this, and there's not a single person on insider trading in June that sold, but in March 11, 2024, Casper Clay sold, and he stepped 
vice president of chief of operation. So he did sell back in May or March. Did anyone else sell? In 2023, they sold. That could, that is a good sign that they kept dropping. And cash in ton. Yeah. Who is she? Cash in ton. The vice president of human resources. These, these two, I'm not really concerned. Um, Tanya, she's a head of human resources. She made, uh, she sold it for 102 million. And Cassius Clay sold his. Didn't tell us what um, it sold for. Now, is this stock worth buying for an investor standpoint? Well, with the trade volume at average, the earning is down next quarter. And it's being a dividend stock. I believe, personally, if you're going to buy this stock, let's see, it's not for short term. I think they're still in a rut and are still going to be dropping. Now, I'm not saying this stock isn't a good stock to add if you're looking for a company for a a five-year 10 year return because gas like it or not is not going to go anywhere we're going to need gas and this is one of the companies that do deliver it on gas now with this 12 month target of being $55 that is a $13 gain in 12 months on this stock and BlackRock has increased their dividend yield or the yield on it I'm probably going to purchase this stock just because it does have a 5% dividend yield. And I think within two, three years, it's going to bounce back. I think it's at an all time, it's going to drop a little bit more in the next couple of months. But, and honestly, this oil and gas company, um, Depending on who wins the presidency, it might recover and rebound um, very big. Now, let's check. Artificial trading. I'm checking the news right now to see if anything good or bad is coming about this company. It doesn't look like anything really bad is to talk about it. And with it being that 5% dividend yield... I'm probably going to add this to my portfolio, counting if I find another stock to beat it. So right now, it's a good contender. I'm going to add it to my watch list, see if it drops a little bit more. But I might add $1,000 of this share in my portfolio just because um, the investors... Let's look at top sellers first before I decide. All right, top buyers. Just because BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, Vanguard is purchasing it, it, it gives me a feeling that I should purchase this stock for a long-term gain. And yeah, please like and subscribe to my video. Um, I'm probably going to buy this stock to hold on for the next two or three years. All right, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.